Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eden and today we're going to be doing a super easy beginner tutorial on how to make a piano game in Scratch. Today you're going to learn how to make some buttons so that you can click on the piano keys and how to use music blocks so that when you click on the piano keys it makes some noise. And later on in another video I can show you guys how to make one where you can actually record the sounds and play a song that you play that you recorded after you're done. So let's get started. So as usual, we start out with our favorite little scratch cat here, except we're going to delete it. And the first thing you need to do is click on this plus blocks thing down here and choose the, where is it? The music extension. And the blocks that we're going to be using are the play note blocks and the set instrument to blocks. So let's see. We're going to start by making our piano and instead of making each individual key and they might not fit together well, we're going to draw the piano first and then actually start using it. So the cool thing about these music blocks is that it actually shows you so you can hear like that note there and it shows you what the piano is going to look like. So the note that's 60 sounds like that and then there's 62, 64, 65, 67 and then the these sharp notes are different numbers. So like 64 and 65 are right next to each other because they don't have this black one in between. So this shows you exactly how many keys that you're going to need to be, be able to make this piano. So to make this piano, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white keys and three black keys. So let's just make the eight white keys first. So in our costumes, let's change this color to white and then have a slightly gray outline just a little bit of gray and we'll make that like two now our first piano key will look like that and then let's duplicate this copy and paste put them right next to each other Let's make sure that they're like directly next to each other so that they, yep, that's perfect. So that's two. And then let's duplicate, let's shift and select both of these, control C, control V, and then copy and paste them and make sure they're on the exact same level. That's perfect once again. And then now that we have four of them, we're just going to shift and select all of them and then duplicate them one more time so we have all eight of our white piano keys. There we go. So we've got our white piano keys. Now we need the five black ones. So the black ones were in between the first three and then in between and then the next three were in between the next four. So let's copy this, paste it, but turn the inside black and no outline. Then they need to be the same width, but like half the length. I don't know, wait, I think they're a little bit skinnier. Let's make them like a little skinnier and put them right here. And then let's copy and paste that into right in between the next ones. So we've got those two, then let's shift, copy and paste, and then do that in between these ones. And then we just need to copy and paste one more. Oh, that wasn't a copy and paste, let me undo that. Copy, paste. There we go. 
All right, so we have our piano, but since each of these needs to be individually clicked, and actually this one's a little bit off screen, let's select the entire thing. So control A and make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then let's make this go to zero, zero. And the piano will never move. So it will always stay right there. Let's actually make the X like negative. Oh, yeah, that's good. OK. So now we have our piano. It looks just like this one. And to make all of these individually clickable, and let's make the background like a different color so that we can actually see our piano. Well, maybe not that color. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate this. Wait, so let's actually just code it for one of these first. So we want it so that when this sprite is clicked, then play note 60. So this would be for this first key right here. Then let's duplicate this and for this next one, we are also going to want it to be at zero, zero. But instead of having this entire piano, it's we're going to select everything but the second key and delete it. But it's still going to look like the same, like it's part of the same piano, except, be, but it's just going to be individual pieces. So we're going to keep doing that for the rest of it, but we're going to keep this full piano so that we can keep duplicating it. And for this one, we don't want it to make the same sound as this key, so we'll have it play this note instead, which is 62. And then let's duplicate this again, let's duplicate it a couple of more times. Do we need eight of these? So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's perfect. So now all we need to do is go through and delete everything that we don't need. So in this case, we're going to keep the third key and change this to the third key, which would be 64, and make sure that this is at zero, zero. Always make sure that they're all that they're all at the same the same x and y coordinate. And this one is going to be the fourth key, so let's make that 65. And then we'll delete all of these. And all of these. Put it at zero, zero. Yep, so we have all of that. We can change the first one to just every, just delete everything but the first key. And this one is already playing the right note. And we've only got four left. This will be playing the fifth note, we can delete everything but the fifth one, and then put this at zero, zero. It's going to look a little bit chaotic until everything comes together, but as you can see, these are all starting to line up. And then let's duplicate this one more time because we're still going to need an extra example to do the black keys. So make sure that you have eight versions. You have nine versions of this piano, actually. So that's the fifth key. Now we need to do the sixth key, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so their note would be 69. And we're saving this key. So we'll delete those, and these, make sure this is at zero, zero. And 
you can see here it's almost coming together that i think this second key is actually it's behind this other one and then once again we're on our second to last one so we're deleting everything but the second to last key and make this play 71 and then for our very last one we'll make this play 72 which is that last key there and then delete everything but the last key and put it at zero zero so now we've got our full piano here, and if we move our example one out of the way, then we have it. And this one is not at zero, zero. So let's make sure that it's at zero, zero, so everything matches up. Here we go. So we've got all of our white keys, and let's see what happens when we click on them. Perfect. So now we have a working white keys, but now we need the sharp keys. So we have our example one here still. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but instead of clicking on the white keys, we're going to click on the sharp keys. So, of course, as usual, let's put this at zero, zero. So at first it's going to be over top of the piano, but we don't need any of these white keys. So let's shift hold down shift and select all of the white keys and delete them so now we only have to work with these and the first one that we're going to do is this one but before we do that so that we can still have this example for the next four let's duplicate this so that we have four of these and all of them should be at zero zero so while you're coding this just remind yourself zero 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 whenever you see these x and y coordinates here they should always be at zero zero so now we can delete so let's go to the first one delete everything but the first black key then go to the notes and make it 61 or you can just oh accidentally made a new one all right so let's go to the second one delete everything but the second black key and then when you click on it click on the second black key then everything but the third black key then choose the third black key for this one and oh we're gonna need one more for this one so the fourth black key let's duplicate this because we have one less than we than we need so you'll need five of these black keys and for this last for this last one since we're already here let's just delete everything but the last one and make this the last black key and then for the second to last one, we already have the second to last one selected, and then delete everything but the second to last black key. So let's test this out and see what happens. So we have our sharps, we have our white keys, and our sharp keys. And one extra cool thing that you can add is making it so that it looks like they're being pressed when you click on them. And this is a pretty easy thing to add. So the first thing you need to do is when start clicked, then set brightness. So go to looks and then set yeah, the one that says set color fix is zero, but change that to brightness. And wait, I don't know if it's so set brightness to which one am I on right now? 
Oh, we should be on the white one. So let's just do du let's just duplicate this in the white because it's only gonna work on the white keys. So let's go to our white key and then change the brightness effect by twenty five. Yeah, so it should be change it by negative. Let's say change it by negative 50. I think that's how it works. Yeah. So change it by, yeah, change it by negative 25 and then change it back, which would, and then change it by 25. So that would make it go down and then back up again. So it's going to look like you, the key is going down a little bit. And we want it to wait like a little bit before we do it. So when it's clicked, change it to negative 25 and then do that so that would that would be like around it and then make sure it says brightness because this one still says color so then we can do this repeat the same thing over it so let's like just try this out first see so now it looks like we're clicking on it and then you can do the same thing for all of the rest of the keys. So then it will look like you're actually playing the piano. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you do it by commenting down below on the project that I post. I'll put a link in the description to that. And also put a link in the description to how I made this shirt. Because this shirt is actually one that I made. So I hope you enjoyed. If you actually follow this tutorial, then comment on the example project and I will give it a love and a comment on Scratch. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Bye!